Lizelle was only 19 years old when she became pregnant for the third time. Desperately poor and with two children already, she ended the pregnancy the only way she knew how. I carried 10 gallons of water up four flights of stairs and started bleeding. I called my mother-in-law and she gave me a medicinal potion and it made me bleed more. Lisa and her family must survive on the $2 a day her husband earns scavenging on the rubbish dump they live on. Abortion is illegal in the Philippines, while birth control and related health services are available only to those who can afford private medical care, which excludes much of the population. They must rely on rare organizations like this one, funded by the UN Family Planning Association. It gives free contraception and provides sex education. The reproductive health bill will require government health centers to do the same. It would afford uh, uh, women and uh, couples the opportunity to exercise their basic uh, human right to freely and responsibly determine the number and the spacing of their children. But the legislation faces stiff resistance in Congress. What we are against is allocating very scarce government resources to provide uh, the funds for this. For example, uh, contraceptives are very expensive. Who's going to benefit uh, from this? The manufacturers of contraceptives. 80% of the people here are Catholic, and the church is galvanizing opposition to the bill. They claim the law is a step towards legalizing abortion. For many, the Quiapo Church is the spiritual heart of Manila. But alongside the religious icons, many vendors here are selling what's called herbal medicines to induce abortions. We're in the midst of a crackdown, so the bottles aren't being sold openly. But if you want one, all you have to do is ask. At 2%, the Philippines has one of the highest birth rates in Asia. And analysts say there is a strong link between population and poverty. It means that the poor families have larger family sizes. So when you have that, and then you find out also that the poor families are the families with the least amount of education. The, the high uh, population growth rate is, uh, can be, is an impediment to, to the development process. Liesel's now 22 and she's had another child. Since then, she started taking contraceptives provided by a charity. My dream for my daughter is to get an education and for me to raise her properly, a simple life of having three square meals a day. Liesel wants her daughter to be free to make her own choices, but with powerful forces lined up against the bill and an election looming next year, its passage into law is far from guaranteed. Divigo Palin, Al Jazeera, Manila, Philippines.